Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 7 and another part of our career mode. Today, we are going to be continuing our quest to complete some of the menu uh, books. We have got 240,000 credits. We're saving up some money and we're going to try and um, get a new car at some point. Uh, you know, we'll save up to about 300,000 and then we'll, we'll see uh, what we've got. But I want to start off today's video by congratulating the giveaway winner thomas p um whose dream car is the audi r8 he loves it and he loves the design so a massive congratulations to thomas please do get in touch with me over on twitter or um down in the comment section of this video so i can send you your code for the game so thank you very much to everybody that entered that i did slip it in to the end of a video um episode two to be specific so um, you know, just to give people that are staying right until the bitter end the opportunity to win something for once and, you know, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll do more stuff like that in the future. But thank you very much for that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, pop into the garage. We've got a, a few gifts to open. So we'll head over to gifts. Uh, we've got a two-star roulette. We'll do the one-star roulette first. And uh, last time out, we did actually get ourselves apart. It would be nice to get the car again this time. Go on. Oh, I thought we... Oh, we nearly had the big pile of money. So we get another part. And that is a fully customizable computer for the Volkswagen Golf um, GTI. So let's do the two-star roulette. Obviously, more valuable stuff ends up in this one. And you can see a nicer car there. Bigger pile of money. Where are we going to stop? Little pile of money. These are rigged. <laughs> we have won nothing particularly good from them, but another 5,000 credits. We're not going to complain too much about that. Um, let's have a little look at the car collection. Last time out, we got the 208 GTI Peugeot. And uh, we also got the DS3 Racing. Uh, so, yeah, that's very good. Right, and what do we need to do now? Have we not been back to the cafe yet? Maybe not. So let's get our new book. Number 12, Championship Petite Course de France. Finishing the top three. Okay, it's time to enter the Petite Course de France Championship. The championship will take place in Als Alsace on a track that features plenty of inclines and declines. Your aim is to finish in the top three. Don't forget to come back here and let me know how you get on. Imagine if one day we just stop going back to the cafe. And don't tell Luca how we got on. But let's have a look at this intro. It looks pretty cool. This game does look real at times. It is scary. Awesome. Gives me goosebumps every time. It really does. Um, what do we need? So let's have a little look. Uh, I assume it's going to be one of our road cars. Um, if we head into that. So recommended PP is 500. We do actually have enough. So maybe we just head straight into it without upgrading our car and see how we get on. So let's get into the action. Wow, this, uh, this course looks pretty insane. Um, field of 12, so we've got to get up into the top three at the very least. We're in our Renault Clio. Look at us bombing away there. Let's see how we get on. We should, in theory, have a very, very good chance. Because uh, we've got the soft tyres on, of course. It's going to give us a, a big advantage. That looks pretty good. And now we're coming up behind the Peugeot 208. As one of my students once called it, a Piogiot. 
<laughs> Here's the Alpine A110. Lovely there, and we are dominating at the moment. Big spin there, though. And that could harm our chances more than you know. And somebody said um, a couple of episodes ago, do we use most of the assists? We certainly don't. I think that was a little uh, demonstration of it there. But we've had it a couple of times with this car. The rear end just doesn't like it. So, let's see how we get on down the inside here. Yeah, had to sort of go towards the the barrier and play a bit of argy bargy with we can't take any prisoners now. That's this lab. Just scared to turn the car. Don't want to spin it out. Another Peugeot. Just ahead of us. Yeah, we certainly don't want to be doing that. Yeah, we're struggling here. We're definitely struggling. This might end up being the, the first championship we don't win because that is going to be the end of lap one, I think. Oh no. It's not actually. That's a nice little move. Got plenty of cars up ahead of us. the hill, there's a little blimp there, I wonder if that's Zorin's blimp from a view to a kill <laughs> anyway we come down the hill now goodness me that was a terrible corner, we really need to sort out our braking at times, that was a lovely move though, and this is the start finish straight, and you can see up to fourth here out onto the marbles though which sends us a little wide but I'll tell you what we are a long way behind the top three ten seconds in fact so we're going to need a hell of a final lap here to get anywhere near those guys yeah, we don't want to lose the car this time again just haven't got the the grip around the corners that we that we usually do. So eight point five seconds now the gap. You can actually see it for the first time. Again onto the grass. Let's see if the third person cam will help us a little bit. Just want to go help a little bit. That'll do. That'll do nicely. As soon as you hit the grass, you, you just can't get it back on track. It's like an ice rink. That's good. Now come round. About 30 seconds left in this lap. I thought maybe we could catch up to that guy ahead, but I don't think it's going to happen as we head down the hill now. Got a big braking zone coming up here. That's pretty good. But it is going to be fourth place, I think, unless we can get him to the line. It's going to be very close, but not quite. So, bit of work to do in the next race if we are to win this. Not great.
still get a nice bit of money. But I'd rather not watch that race back. So here we go. It's starting to get more difficult now. Most definitely. So we're doing it in reverse this time. Need to have no mistake. No mistake driving now. Good. So we're up to ninth position now. Over the blind hill. Very nice and early. Very good. Yeah, this is nice clean racing this time. Already up to sixth. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. Got the outside line, perfect. fourth already we need to finish at least second here a nice little drift through there that'll do so the top three it is the top three so we've just got to keep keep going towards them just sort of let the car go towards the barrier there because we didn't want to spin out but again just too early on the power on the grass and we get sucked out there down the hill we go wow they're going three wide up ahead going to be the end of lap one curiously a lot quicker in the reverse direction than in the forwards direction we go past the Renault R5 turbo we go an Alpine A110 here there's the two driving instructors that are ahead of us here quite nice to, to beat them here the hill bring it nice and early and we just gotta make sure that we make no mistakes second would probably be enough to finish third in the championship Too wide there. I think you just got to commit with the corners. You can't try and correct. That's where it goes wrong. Now then, we've got about a minute to get past him here. This is good. A 
and now we got a chance and we do go down the inside we drift it round he is right there though and now he's going to be trying to hound us for position here well, we've got the final corner coming up so as long as we make no mistakes we should win this Went into the final corner. Don't want to hit the grass. No, we've done it. We are going to win here. And surely that is going to be enough for third. At the very least in the championship. Very, very good race that time. Yeah, we'll settle for that. That was good. I wonder where... We finish in the championship second, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's uh, been beat to the line. Uh, to third place in the first race it was enough to stop us from getting that. But we were number two overall, so we get 18,000. And we get a Chevrolet, or at least one of them. Um, so we will pick the middle one. And it is a Chevrolet Camaro that we get there as a free gift, which is very nice. And we're now up to level seven. Very good. So, let's uh, head back to Lucas Cafe and tell them all about our adventures. And I think we might buy ourselves a new car. You should now be able to access missions. Visit missions to try your hand at various challenging and enjoyable race situations. In fact, missions will be the theme of your next menu I've prepared for you. Till then. Okay, a pavilion has been made available, so missions. Try your hand at a mission. Okay, why don't we do that then? Uh, so we've got the Blue Moon Speedway, we've got the Weather Tech Raceway, and the Willow Springs. Go to missions and select the Magic Mountain to try your hand at Deep Forests of the Pass. Okay, missions is where you can get a taste for racing in all sorts of different situations. For this menu, I'd like you to give one a try. Go to missions, select Magic Mountain to try your hand at the Deep Forests of the Pass. Get bronze or better, then come back and see me. I'll have a little reward waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you, Luca. <laughs> right. And there we are. We're off. We're off. So. So there it is in the background. I am curious how much more we are going to open up at this stage. Um, I want to head to Brand Central and I'm going to buy myself an Aston Martin because why not? We've got nearly 300,000 um, credits. You can look at uh, Michelin. And does this open up an actual web browser? Well, that's hilarious. So, Europe we're going to, then Aston Martin. And we can go to their official site as well. Let's have a little look. What they got going. What they got going. A new seat of power. Well, there you go. I mean, let's, uh, let's pretend that was sponsored by Aston Martin. What a cue by Aston Martin. The ultimate bespoke personalization service. Well, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, let's uh, maybe just buy ourselves a virtual one for now. Uh, we can buy the DB11, actually, which might be quite nice. Uh, what's the PP of that? 578. We've got, of course, the V8 Vantage from 15, uh, 2015. Uh, we got the V8 Vantage in the race spec. The V12 Vantage. The DBR9. Uh, you've then got the DP100. 
and then the 17711. Uh, but we, of course, haven't got enough to get that just yet. Uh, I'm tempted by the DB11. You know, I know it's most of our credits, but why not? Um, what colour do we want? So you can have Jet Black, you can have uh, Quantum Silver, Magnetic Silver, Blonde, Lightning Silver, Skyfall Silver. I think that's a little bit bright for me. Silver Fox, Morning Frost White, Stratus White. Um, you've of course got just Jet Black, Madagascar Orange, that looks cool. Um, is that Diavolo Red? Interesting. I wonder if that's Diavolo from everything or nothing. Um, Cobalt Blue. Weirdly, you can't seem to get the Aston Martin Green, which seems a bit of a missed opportunity. Um, I mean, Skyfall Silver is quite nice. I do like Quantum Silver, though, to be honest. Um, and this orange does tempt me. You know what? I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go for the, the Madagascan orange. Dynamic scenes. Oh, some uh, parallel parking going on there. Or pulling away from one at least. Studio scenes. Learn more. The successor to the DB9 is Aston Martin's current flagship model. Needless to say, design is the buzzword here. And it's not just beautiful, every line and curve is designed to be perfectly aerodynamic. The engine is a newly developed 5.2 litre V12 twin turbo, capable of 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 200. This is a serious GT contender. We're getting it, we're getting it. There you go. We have ourselves an Aston Martin DB11 2016 model. Well, that is what we are talking about and we've leveled up to level 8 which is great we've unlocked a racing helmet which is nice um, anything else the car's been added to your garage let's change to that car should we give it a little whirl before we head into the world of the cafe stuff so if we go into um, world circuits I'm assuming we can Go out there and do something. Let's see. So we got Sunday Cup, but I think it has to be. Unless we can do that. Gonna have a racing car. Okay. Oh, this works apparently. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go to. I like I like this circuit. The circuit we've just been in, um, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we're absolutely gonna dominate this race, but uh, I want to go out there. I want to test our car. Let's see. Test course reverse. It's gonna be in the dark. Let's get out there. Oh, look at this car. Look at the inside. What I need to do is tune it up and get some soft tyres on it, but wow, this car looks amazing. Look at it. Rip it has all oh, point to the wall. Let's let's pretend that didn't happen. But I absolutely love the interior. Here we go, we are away. Now put a mile on the car. Oh, we've also crashed twice with it. And brand oh, has the rear window gone? I thought. Oh no, it's oh! Just a reflection, apparently. I want to see how quick we can race around here. We are just stupidly quicker than them. So we're on 
second lap already. It's quite funny how some of the corners are just completely blind. Yeah, massive. Doesn't have as, as much braking power as you think. It is lighting up now, so it must have been dawn at the start of this race, and now we get to see the, the loveliness of the orange. a nice, nice little move. Oh! Up the hill. This is the final lap. It's amazing how much quicker we, we are than... In the last one. We still can't turn around corners, so... To find crazy. Let's go into the pit lane. Nice. Well, there we go, we do win. Very, very nice indeed. And that should give us some money as well. We'll back off that. Wow, ten and a half thousand credits. I mean. That's a way to make money, isn't it? Goodness me. Absolute cracker. Very good. Okay, right, let's exit that. So there's our new car. And let's get ourselves to the mission. Let's see what missions are all about. So the Magic Mountain. And he wanted us to do the pass. Overtake all the cars by the finish line, colliding with other cars will disqualify you. Okay. So let's not do that. So we're in our Nissan 180SX Type X. Well, let's see how we get on. Then we do need to break a bit earlier for that corner. So there's bronze. Are we going to make it? Second, we'll try that again. So we've just got to be a bit more attacking. time. There we go. Very good. There we go. So we have won it. What's that? That was 3,000 I think. There you go. 6,000. Nice. Okay, let's uh, return to Luca and see what he's got to say to us. 's nice work how did you find the first mission the pass is a fun challenge but there are plenty of other races for you to try your hand out as well I've also heard that you can win cars if you earn enough bronzes or golds in certain missions which reminds me I owe you a reward go ahead and grab it so we get the blue moon Bay Speedway the weathertech raceway and the Willow Springs International Raceway and uh, we want to start a Mustang collection so let's find out about it um, but we will complete it in the next episode um bit of a shorter one today just to allow people to catch up a little bit 
Um, but we can get the Do Daytona International Speedway this time once we've got those Ford Mustangs. For this venue, you'll be collecting Mustangs. The Mustang series of perf high performance cars was produced by Ford and is widely considered an American classic. Collect all three and bring them back here, and then I'll tell you about these legendary cars. Okay, so there you go. Um, that is our episode over. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up down below if you have. Uh, subscribe for plenty more Gran Turismo videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.